Hey guys, it's your girl, Marianne. I'm back. <clears throat> hey, it's M.A. Why is my voice going out as soon as I want to film? It is 3.04 a.m. January 27, 2022. I decided that I'm going to vlog today. I don't know, it's a spur of the moment. I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to start the video off here, introduce myself again. <sighs> my arm's already hurting. <laughs> um, why am I going to bed at 3, you ask? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. I'm like a night owl, I guess you could say. Also, peep the nails. You might be asking yourself, Marianne Ugu, a nursing student with gel nails? This length anyway, because you could probably do gel nails if they were hella short, but then they're not cute. The reason why is because I don't have labs yet. I'm in the second rotation for my nursing program in the second semester. So labs start at the beginning of February. And then my very first clinical, guys. My very first clinical! My very first clinical starts on March 10th, 2022, and I'm super, super hyped. But anyway, my arm is literally gonna fall off, and I'm rambling for no reason, so hope you guys enjoy the vlog. When do I want to wake up tomorrow? Or today? I don't know why these are all on. Damn it. I'm just gonna try to use my right hand. Maybe that will help. Okay, so we're gonna wake up for 8.30 a.m. I am now comfy in my bed. And I'm gonna finish the video that I'm watching. This is the horn on my squishmallow. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. A few moments later. I've been trying to drink more water lately and I'm doing a really good job because I used to probably go to the washroom like three times a day, and now it's probably 10 times. Um, I did not actually go to sleep yet. It is 3.58 a.m. I'm tired, but I just really like Netflix, so yeah. Thought I'd bring you guys to the bathroom because why not? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, like, am I being too open and upfront about my life? Like, I literally, you guys saw me pee, you know? Like, is that too much? Oh my gosh. Oh, that was amazing. I'm so tired. I'm so tired right now. I'm gonna go pee and go back to bed maybe for an hour. Three hours later. Awkward. It is about to be noon and I don't know if I said I was gonna go back to bed, but I did. I shouldn't have done that because I have things I needed to do, but it's okay. This is a day in my life. This is usually how most of my days go. I make a great plan and then I sleep in and then my plan gets extended into the next day. It's noon. I'm gonna work on a lecture for I think two hours and then I'm going to get ready to go to Walmart. So I'm gonna work on my pharmacology lecture and I'm working on the last lecture that's included on the exam that I have on Monday next week. Um, farm is three hours, so the lectures are broken up in 90 minutes. So it usually takes me, because I do it on two times speed and I'm trying to be really conscious about not pausing because that really slows me down. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Oh, that hurt. For the final lecture before the midterm, today we're going to cover the end of the pharmacokinetics section, and uh, after that, the second part of this lecture will be uh, concerning some of the general topics of uh, pharmacodynamics. Guys. 
guys, I just finished the first half of the lecture and I was actually doing it really quickly. Wasn't pausing a lot, but then I took a 30 minute break on my phone. So I feel like I should just finish this lecture before I go to Walmart, honestly. But now I'm not in the mood to do pharmacology anymore. I'm dining. Tap your card on the screen here. Rochelle Chansons and Premier, um, and I really hope I did the right thing because I spent a really long time trying to figure out what to do. Okay, um, so I just came back from Second Cup. The iced coffee is looking a little weird. I've never had an iced caramel caretto where the top part was lighter, but maybe she just didn't mix it before she gave it to me. I got a croissant sandwich and a muffin. I just read the feedback for my mood board exactly what i wanted to hear okay um overall feedback um okay actually let's just tell you what i said first so with my mood board which i might insert a pic here um j'ai écrit bonjour professeur pour le moment je n'ai pas encore choisi de sujet de recherche et selon vos ex instructions de mercredi dernier nous pouvions why did i use subjunctive there Okay, um, utilisez ce mood board pour nous présenter à vous. Et c'est ce que j'ai fait. Ce mood board me, me représente. Il représente mes préférences, mes intérêts, mes passions et mes objectifs pour l'avenir. And then I finished with J'espère qu'il vous plaira. <laughs> and then her response was Ton mood board est très beau et coloré. Je te remercie de partager un peu de ta personnalité avec moi. Si tu as besoin d'aide pour trouver un sujet de recherche, which I literally do because I don't have any ideas, um, tu peux me contacter sans problème. Like, I don't even, I hate research because it's so much time and effort goes into it and it takes a really long time to find what you're looking for. So, yeah. I don't know. I know there's oats on top and it's a carrot muffin, so. It's really good, I've had it before. Um, and then I got my go-to ham and cheese croissant sandwich. We're gonna wash this and eat in that three, so in 30 minutes, cause it's 2.30 right now. I am going to finish the lecture. <laughs> Three hours later. So guys, I am now in Walmart. On my back, some velvet hangers and normal hangers. So I'm doing a really bad job of actually filming me shopping, but I'll show you what I got on my cart because there's more stuff. Got some snacks, bread, something healthy. <laughs> Later that same evening. So I finished organizing my shelves 
and put all the new stuff that I bought. And I mean, it's not perfectly organized, but everything has a space and I can see all my snacks and whatnot. So yeah, um, now I'm gonna go set up my clothing rack. Okay guys, so garment rack. Um, <clears throat> unboxing and setup time. I think I need scissors. Yeah, I don't want to break a nail. Okay. Shoot. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Always do it away from you. I know that. Okay, anyway. And I'm gonna break a nail. Hold on. I think... I'm gonna turn around and not back the light. Okay, now I'm sitting. Anyway, so, um, I was at Walmart, obviously, but while I was there, I was just minding my own business, pushing my cart, and, um, okay, <clears throat> I think I need water. I haven't had water in a hot minute, but I'm too lazy to get up. This guy randomly like you know he 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 talks to me i don't know him and he's like have i got you yet that's what he said and then i was like what and then he showed me his phone and he showed me his own youtube studio so i think it said 8999 or 9999 but um he was like yo can you um subscribe to my channel or follow me whatever i don't know what he said exactly but he would mean subscribe um because i just need one more person then i can get money that's literally what he said and then i was like well my in my head i was like bro this is so sus like i just want to leave but then i was like it's not that big of a deal like i subscribed to him and then my brain got on the smarter side well and then like i was like first i was skeptical for like two seconds and then i was like um okay but i actually have a channel too so <laughs> you want to follow me back <laughs> and then he was like bet so anyway i told him that i'm gonna go turn on data for youtube so i can go search him and then he was like cool but while i was doing that he was asking me what my youtube was and then i told him which is my first and last name i'm low-key considering changing it to ma's life that's always been my brand like my snapchat private story was always ma's life i mean sometimes i change the name but like the core of everything is ma's life so ma's life and marianne ugu like it's the same thing. It's just a little bit more catchy. It's less basic than just having your first name, first name, last name. So then I subscribed to him. The men's was touching my phone and everything. He got real close. It was just a really interesting experience. Also like weird, like do people do that? Do people like walk around town just being like, yo, subscribe to me. Anyway, that's what happened at Walmart and then and I just want to say, is it just me? But like, do you get anxiety shopping? Because I do. Like, I've been shopping before. I went shopping all the time with my parents when I was younger. And, you know, I was the child that helped bag the stuff. Like, I know how to shop. <laughs> but I think doing it alone, it just causes a lot of anxiety in me. And not like a bad kind, just like a kind where like, I'm not trying to like hit anyone with my cart. I like, get anyone's way. I don't want anyone judging me for staring for too long because I can't make up my mind about what to buy. So, yeah, I get really stressed. And now I want to tell you guys about the bus ride. A guy came on and like, I have no issues with the guy. He, he looked homeless, appeared homeless. He also appeared mentally ill or maybe like, in, oh, my battery's gonna die soon not insane but like he was talking to no one but it was as if he was talking to someone like he seemed like he was talking to someone so i think what would that be not i think mentally ill would be or maybe hysteric i'm not trying to like be rude or anything i just want to describe the situation so i had no issues he was talking to himself laughing to himself whatever not a big deal it's kind of entertaining honestly just because it seemed like he was giving a monologue sometimes and I like Shakespeare, so it was just kind of like a vibe. And sometimes he said some things that were funny, so I was laughing. But my issue was he wasn't very stable on his feet. So it's a bus, right? Moving vehicle. And he didn't sit down during the whole entire bus ride that, during the whole entire time that I was on the bus, he did not sit down. And that was my issue, is that I was scared he was gonna fall 
and hurt himself or hurt someone else or hurt me. <laughs> so I just really wish he had sat down, but he didn't. So that whole entire bus ride was also anxiety ridden because he was standing. I thought maybe he had schizophrenia, but I don't think those are the clinical signs of it. Yeah, basically when I saw him, I started diagnosing him in my head, but I don't actually know a lot about schizophrenia. I know I'm gonna learn about it next year. Anyway, <laughs> that was a really long spiel. Um, do I need screws to do this? I don't think so at all, which is really nice. Okay, it's 9.44. That's not good. I need to go to dinner because I'm starving. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this done in the next like 15 minutes and then I can go to the dining hall at 10 and then eat and then I have to do that lecture, the other half, because I actually just kept watching Suits for two hours. Bitch don't need no practice, take over the atlas, I just need that traction Then I break her back, you know, hold her, she a cactus, clapping with her bad friends So I don't want no smoke, she gon' smoke to the max, bitch Jeez. I just walked in, uh, motherfuckin' step back, James Harden You don't want this, little mama, I don't need no practice Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I told you I don't need no practice too proper you know that i'm finna go and prosper i've been here the whole time now that's what they want to be a part of bitch you need some water my shit hard not they just knock off so you lost this shit when you walked off so don't talk that shit you can't back off my bro got my back yeah defending loss i don't need that back yeah running nose now you back on track yeah crying but we met an acting class yeah right this homie saying i so sorry, I don't got no time. Big sound, give a fuck, that's fine. It was time to go and change for a dime.